Thanks for joining us for another video. My name is Steve Howard with Howard Piano Industries and we're going to be showing you today um, how to fix a uh, problem with rubbing hammers in a piano. Um, this is a vertical piano, um, console piano that we're looking at here. Um, uh, what happens is uh, from time to time uh, action parts can warp or um, get out of alignment and what happens is you get hammers that um, aren't evenly spaced. Like most of these you can see there's an even space so that when you go to play them um, you know they don't rub against each other. But uh, now this example right here, this hammer as you can see there's a larger space on the right of that hammer and uh, it's closer to the hammer on the left so it's not centered. So here's where it really should be if I give it a little push but um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go and what it can happen from time to time is that that problem of it being not centered between the two hammers that it's uh, between can be such a big problem that it'll be so far over that it'll rub especially what happens is the tail of the of the hammer that's closer as it gets as it moves um, it'll go and rub on the hammer next to it and then it'll get caught and it won't it won't fall back like it should so there's um there's a couple uh, things you can do to to fix uh, that problem we're going to go through those today um now one thing is if it's just uh, a side to side uh, alignment problem uh that's one thing but uh, what what it can be is that the the shank um which is the part here the the stick that the hammer actually sits on uh can be twisted so um so it could be that the hammer is twisted twisted at a at a strange angle okay and if that's the case what you need to do is um twist the the shank okay and what you can do is what you'd have to do is you have to heat that shank with um say like a a, a lighter or some kind of a torch to um, a small torch to, or you can use a heat gun, that works also. But you want to heat up that shank, and then once you've got it heated, you're going to twist the hammers in, in the direction that you want it to, um, to, to uh, be corrected to. And so, you, and then once, and you hold it in place uh, for several seconds until it's, uh, and, and take the heat off and then hold it in place. And then once you let it go, it should um, be adjusted. So that's the way to to uh, correct the pro the problem of the of the misaligned hammer if it's if it's a twisted shank in case or if it's going at a at a different angle. You can um, adjust the the uh, the flange on the this is a this is a hammer butt uh, with a flange. Uh, another way you can do is um, you know if you if you don't want to heat the shank and, and twist the shank, which is the, really the easiest way, you can paper the flange. Okay, so like if uh, for example it's twisted, um, you know to the so that the the face of the hammer is is going to the left. You're going to want to you're going to want to paper the flange uh, so that you're going to paper the right right side of this flange. And what that is is I'm, we're going to show you in just a minute what the what the flange paper is like. But uh, you'd put a little piece of uh, flange uh, shim paper on the right side to to make the make the make the hammer go back to the right. So, so and, and what you do is you you do that on this par portion of the of the flange. Now, when we're when we're side to side like this, okay, if you because what we need to do is essentially move this move this hammer over so it's centered between the two, okay. And the way we're going to do that, and I'll show you when when we take this when we take the hammer out, how to do that. But basically, we're going to flange or paper the bottom of the flange, okay. And what that'll essentially do. Is if you put um, what we're going to want to do is put the the uh, flange travel paper on the left side of the flange, which will essentially push it uh, push the the hammer butt to the right just a bit. Okay, which essentially will make it centered. Okay, so what we're going to do here is um, now occasionally, sometimes you can just uh, just uh, loosen. Uh, what I've got here is I've got um, a f uh, action flange screwdriver with a combination tool handle, 
which we sell those in our store. But um, I'm going to come back here, and there's a flange screw that holds that hammer flange on. And sometimes you can just loosen that that flange screw, push the hammer over a little bit, and it'll adjust itself. I guess I need my flashlight because I can't see what... There we go. Okay, so sometimes you can loosen the flange, which I just did, hold the hammer to the right a little bit, and then tighten it back up. Sometimes that works, but obviously in this case it's not going to. So I'm going to take the flange screw out, loosen that all the way, and then what you want to do is you want to make sure you take off the, the bridle strap for the hammer that you're going to be removing, and then lift the hammer out. Okay, so here we've got our hammer flange. And what we're going to do is, like I said, uh, take that flange screw out so I don't lose it. We're going to we're going to trap what are going to do travel paper on the bottom left side of this flange. Okay, so when we sell this travel paper in our in our store, okay, it's just a thin strip. One side of it has uh, adhesive on it, so you can just um, Lick it a little bit with your to wet it, and uh, and stick it onto the onto the bottom of the flange. So I'm going to lick the part. I licked the part that I was going to put on there, and then stick it to the left side of the bottom of the flange, and it sticks. And then what I'm going to do is just cut off the excess. Okay, so. So there we've got, and this this particular flange paper, we've got it in two thicknesses. We've got 0.1 millimeter or 0.2 millimeter. And I'm going to put my flange screw back in so we can see um, one strip may not be enough. But uh, we're going to try it just for, let's see where we're at here. jack out of the way, put my hammer flange back in place. And then screw the hammer back on. Okay, so it's looking better. Um, so you can see there's some difference there. Um, probably what, uh, and then once you've got that back in, you're gonna, you'll hook up, hook the um, bridle strap back on. You can do this outside the piano, but um, which might be actually a little bit easier, but if you don't have the action out already, it can be done inside the piano. So what we've done is we've we've paid one put one one uh, thickness of uh, travel paper on the bottom of the flange, and you can see that there's some difference. Um, we probably should do two, th at least two or maybe three thicknesses of paper, or you could use the the 0.2 millimeter uh, travel paper. Um, but you can see that what that does is that moves the hammer over to the right by papering the bottom left side of the of the flange so um, so basically that's the that's the way to do it uh, to correct a uh, hammer that's not centered uh, be, which you what you get over time so it's a little little bit of a process but um, but not a overly complicated um, procedures. So if you have any questions, uh, with the travel paper that we, have, we showed you here, as well as, well as the tools that uh, we used are available on our website at howardpianoindustries.com and feel free to visit us if you have any questions.